Patrick, and I wanted to make a video and talk about a new guitar I picked up this year in 2021, a Fujijin J Standard Odyssey. And this is a Japanese production guitar made in Japan with American pickups, and in 2021, at the end of the year, about to cross into 2022, this was less than a thousand US dollars. So I want to talk about the features on here and play through some tones and basically this thing's really great and I'm really glad I bought it and I kind of want another one. I purchased this guitar, the retail price on it was $9.49 US, I bought it from a US dealer. Uh, it, is an, it is clearly an S inspired guitar. Configuration is an HSS top route, so we have a pit guard, uh, two single coil, and a bridge pickup, 25 and a half inch scale length, so standard scale length for an S style guitar, double cutaway, 22 frets. Now this is, according to the spec, a basswood body, uh, so Japanese basswood, which is not the cheap basswood because this is also very light. This guitar weighs about seven pounds which is very normal to lightweight for one of these style guitars. Um, and it has a flame maple veneer on top and a really three-dimensional, like very nice looking flame maple veneer. Um, it looks a lot like the PRS SE veneers used to look where, where it really does give a good three-dimensional feel. Uh, the configuration has a five-way switch and it has a volume and tone and the tone works for everything, but uh, unlike a lot of HSS configurations where if you come to position two, it splits the bridge pickup if it's a humbucker. So then you have a reverse wound single coil and uh, a bridge single coil. This actually has a switch to split them. So you can go to these in parallel with the switch down and get some of those uh, like really meaty lead tones. Uh, or you can get the tone that you heard in the intro, which is like a, a, a really uh, a classic position two tone. Uh, position three is the reverse wound single coil by itself. Position two is the blend. And position one is the neck. Or sorry, position five, four, and five is the blend in the neck. Um, these are Seymour Duncan USA pickups. It says this is an SSL1 and an Alnico Pro. And the big surprise for this style of guitar, and I'm really glad that they did this, and I really love how this sounds, is this is a Seymour Duncan Pegasus Trembucker. And now Pegasus is a progressive metal pickup. It's, it's an Alnico 5 pickup, and it's a roughly the same output as like a JB or a Custom or a Custom Custom if you're familiar with Seymour Duncan pickups, but this is voiced a little more, for a little bit more string separation, and that's something that I really like. I really like the uh, Pegasus and Sentient set. Uh, use that in a couple of different guitars, and this is just a really great uh, stock pickup for this to come with. And like I said, US made pickups um, in a really convenient configuration. Uh, we'll hear what they sound like in just a moment. Let me just go over quickly a couple of other features. We talked about the body woods. The neck wood is maple. Uh, it's a one-piece maple. Uh, Bolt-on construction with a cutaway heel, which is really nice. It has vintage-style tuners and a two-point trim. This is their proprietary trim, but it's very, very similar to a Goto. Um, this has a U-shaped neck and a compound radius fretboard, which actually has like a slightly different feel to it. Um, a little bit meatier than a normal modern C-shaped neck that you would find on uh, a certain other manufacturer's style of guitar like this. Just a little bit though. It's not a baseball bat. It's nice. It's fast. Uh, the compound radius fretboard, although the, the website for the factory doesn't list what it is. It doesn't say if it's a 12 to 16 inch. If I had to guess, I'd say it's a 12 to 16 inch. Feels a lot like a Charvel neck when it comes to the fretboard. But uh, Fujigen has something else that I guess they've had around for a while, and it is called a circle fretting system, or CFS. I could barely see it until I really, really looked and really got the right angle. But yes, these frets are, they're not straight across frets. They're at a little bit of a, a, a predetermined curve. And apparently, 
they work very well to keep a really good intonation. I haven't done anything with this guitar. I've had this for about 30 days and I've been playing it. The strings are actually almost dead on it because I'm playing on the strings that it came with. I uh, haven't replaced those, haven't treated the fretboard. I, uh, I've just, just been playing it along and the setup it came with is fantastic to play. It stays in tune really well. It, uh, this is just a great guitar. So there's, pro there's maybe one thing that I would have changed about it and that is the vintage style tuners. It seems that if you're gonna have a guitar like this that's, that's a modern flair, it's got a two point modern trim system, it's got a progressive metal bridge pickup in it, and then vintage style tuners. It seems kind of seems kind of like an unnecessary expense because these uh, th these could have been replaced, I think, for probably even production money with locking tuners, or 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 at least with with high gear ratio. Not not that there's anything wrong with these. These stay in tune really well. Um, I don't have a problem with that. It's just a we it's a weird look. It's a weird look for a modern for a modern style guitar to just come with these. Okay, so the amp and effects that I'm playing with, um, using a Fender Bass Breaker head amp, uh, Bass Breaker 15 on the low gain voicing. I'm using a Bass Breaker 2x12 cabinet with Celestian G12s, recording it with an off-center Shure SM57 and a centered uh, condenser mic and Audio-Technica AT2020. And uh, I'm using a few different effects pedals. Uh, none of them are on right now. The only thing I hear right now is amp reverb. So let me go ahead and do the clean tones and then we'll put some pedals on. So right now we have the humbucker split and I'm in the, the neck position. So here we go. This is the Alnico Pro. See, we're not going to Alnico Pro. Okay, so that sounds really good. Um, the next is the position four, and that's the reverse wound SSL1 with the Alnaco Pro. So let's hear that. Okay, so that sounds really good. Uh, SSL1 in the center position. center position a lot but I like that it sounds nice uh, and then what you heard in the intro the split humbucker and reverse line single foil Okay, so let's get the full fat humbucker. So you can hear the 
volume difference in the in the oomph that you get from putting that all together, but how clear that just that's just very, very clear. The clarity of that is great, and that's because it's made to do that. It's a progressive metal pickup. It's made to have very, very good string separation clean or with some drive on it. So let's put some drive on it and see how it sounds. <laughs> So let's try a little low gain on the uh, the other pickups and uh, and see how that sounds. 